Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? So what is this saying here? Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. So this is saying, don't be so concerned about the issues of life. Okay. What ye shall eat, right here, what ye shall eat. So don't be worried about what you are going to eat, or I don't have enough money to eat, or <clears throat> what are we going to do for food? This is saying, don't be worried about what you are going to eat or what ye shall drink. So don't be worried if you have enough to drink. Don't be worried what you have to drink. Nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. So don't be worried about if you have any clothes to wear or if you have enough clothes to wear. Don't be worried like, hey, I only have clothes that have holes in them, so I need more clothes. This is saying don't be worried about insignificant things like this. It's not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment. Hmm. It's not the life more than meat in the body than raiment. What is raiment? Raiment is your clothes. So this is saying, hey, don't worry about your life right here. Don't worry about if you have enough to eat or what you are eating. Or don't worry about if you have enough to drink. And don't worry about if you have any clothes or not, or enough clothes. The point of this, stop worrying about the issues of life and worry. Don't worry about the issues of life, but be concerned about trusting in God. For many of us, or some of us, we had somewhat decent parents where they would feed us, where they would give us clothes, where they would pretty much take care of us. Well, what God wants, he wants us to be totally dependent upon him. I know that this is against your way of thinking. Of course, you may have had to take care of yourself for your whole life, perhaps. What this is saying, stop being so dependent on your own power, on how you can do things, and be much more dependent on God. Some people may know some things about the Old Testament. God would rain manna down from heaven, down from heaven to the nation of Israel. So the nation of Israel only could take enough food for one day. If they would take more than what they could eat each day, I believe the manna would turn to worms. Like the food would go bad. 
So they had to depend on God every single day for food. Okay, well, God wants us to be that way now. Listen, <laughs> with some people, your job is your God. Your money is your God. Or you make someone that helps you out, you see them as your God, your idol. Yes, God can work through people, but our focus should be mainly upon God and not what our jobs can do for us or what other people can do for us as well. You are making idols out of everything and not really paying attention to God. He wants us to depend on him every day. I know that you may not agree with this or like this, but you have to. You may believe that because of your job, you are able to do what you are doing now. What if God takes away your job? What if God cripples your back or your leg or your arms? What can your job do for you then? What if God takes away your disability, as in your disability money every month? Are you still going to make your money your idol or the thing that you trust in every month? Everything is made possible because of God. You are looking to resources but what you should do is look toward the source, not the resource. I pray that makes sense there. You are looking toward the resource, but you are not looking toward the source. The resource came from the source. <laughs> God wants us to depend on him every day for everything everything it doesn't matter how strong you are it doesn't matter how athletic you think you are or whatever else he wants you to depend on him every day every single day do you know how a baby is dependent on its mother and father. God pretty much, in so many words, wants us to be like that. We have to be dependent upon him as if we are babies. I am not saying to stay at home and not do anything. What I am saying is take your focus off of everything else and place your focus on God. This is what I am saying. God wants us to be totally focused upon him. When you are focused on other things but God, this is when so many problems are going to come down your way. Just because you have so many homes or cars or money doesn't mean that you are blessed by God. Because when you are in sin, you are cursed. I don't know why people believe that you are blessed when you have earthly things. That doesn't mean anything. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.